Today, we are going to talk about the best email marketing software for beginners in 2023. We will talk about the pros and cons of each of them. At the end of this video, you will know which software is ideal for your situation. So be sure to watch this video until the end. In today's digital age, email marketing is a crucial tool for businesses of all sizes. Not only does it help increase sales, but it also allows for better customer engagement and building lasting relationships with your audience. Whether you're a small business owner or a marketer for a larger company, having the right email marketing software can make all the difference in your marketing efforts. So let's get started. First up, we have MailChimp, one of the most well-known software applications on this list. One of the biggest advantages of MailChimp is its user-friendly interface. It's easy to navigate, making it perfect for beginners who are new to email marketing. Additionally, MailChimp offers a variety of automation capabilities, allowing you to set up targeted campaigns and email sequences with ease. Plus, it offers a number of integrations with other software, such as Shopify, WordPress, and more. Now let's talk about the cons of MailChimp. One of the biggest limitations of the free plan that MailChimp offers is that it has a limited list size and automation rules. You can only store 500 contacts in total and send up to 2,500 emails a month. So, if you're planning to grow your email list quickly, you may need to upgrade to a paid plan which starts at $13 a month. Additionally, some users have reported that the platform can be a bit slow and clunky at times. We, however, didn't have this issue ourselves. All in all, MailChimp is a great option for beginners who are looking for a user-friendly interface and automation capabilities. However, its limitations on list size and automation rules for the free plan should be considered before making a decision. Next up, we have SendinBlue. One of the biggest advantages of SendinBlue is that it's an all-in-one marketing platform. It offers a variety of features, including email marketing, SMS marketing, and marketing automation, all in one place. Additionally, it offers automation capabilities, allowing you to set up targeted campaigns and email sequences with ease. Plus, it has contact management feature that allows you to segment your audience and send targeted messages, which is great for personalization. Send in Blue has a free plan, just like MailChimp. It allows you to send 300 emails a day and allows you to use 40 plus customizable templates. The paid plan starts at $25 a month. Now let's talk about the cons of Send in Blue. Send in Blue is a little bit more expensive compared to other software applications on this list. Besides that, Send in Blue is a very good option to use in 2023. All in all, Send in Blue is a great option for beginners who are looking for an all-in-one marketing platform and automation capabilities. However, its lack of a free plan and lack of advanced reporting options should be considered before making a decision. Next, we have ActiveCampaign, also a quite well-known software application on this list. One of the biggest advantages of ActiveCampaign is its automation capabilities. It allows you to set up targeted campaigns and email sequences with ease, and also offers advanced segmentation and tagging, which is great for personalization. Additionally, ActiveCampaign offers CRM integration, making it easy to manage your leads and customers in one place. Active Campaign does not offer a free plan like most applications on this list. It does, however, offer a free 14-day trial. The pricing starts at $9 a month. If you, however, want more advanced functions, the subscription will cost you $49 a month. Now let's talk about the cons of Active Campaign. One of the biggest drawbacks of Active Campaign is that it has a steeper learning curve compared to some other options. It may be a bit harder for beginners to navigate. Additionally, it has no free plan and a higher monthly price than most applications on this list if you want all the functions that it offers, so it may not be the best option for businesses on a tight budget. All in all, ActiveCampaign is a great option for beginners who are looking for advanced automation capabilities, segmentation and tagging, and CRM integration. However, its steeper learning curve and higher pricing should be considered before making a decision. Next up, we have MailerLite. One of the biggest advantages of MailerLite is its user-friendly interface. It's easy to navigate, making it perfect for beginners who are new to email marketing. Additionally, 
Mailer Light offers a variety of automation capabilities, allowing you to set up targeted campaigns and email sequences with ease. Plus, it offers landing pages feature, which is great for creating opt-in pages, sales pages, and more. Mailer Light offers a free plan up to 1,000 subscribers and 12,000 emails a month. This plan also offers a drag and drop editor, email automation tools, and much more. This makes it one of the most complete free plan packages on this list. The pricing plans start at $9 a month, but are based on the subscription amount. Now let's talk about the cons of MailerLite. One of the biggest problems with MailerLite is that it can become quite expensive once you have a lot of subscribers. If you have a list of 50,000 subscribers, the cheapest plan will cost you $205 a month, which is quite a lot. All in all, MailerLite is a great option for beginners who are looking for a user-friendly interface, automation capabilities, and landing pages feature. The free plan can offer you a good start to build your email list for free. Next on the list is HubSpot. The biggest advantage of HubSpot is that it's an all-in-one marketing platform. It offers a variety of features including email marketing, social media management, SEO, and more all in one place. Additionally, it offers automation capabilities allowing you to set up targeted campaigns and email sequences with ease. Plus, it has contact management feature that allows you to segment your audience and send targeted messages, which is great for personalization. HubSpot offers a great free plan to start with. It lets you send up to 2,000 emails a month. The paid plan starts at $18 a month when paid yearly and $20 a month when paid monthly. The Cons of HubSpot one of the biggest drawbacks of HubSpot is that it has a high pricing. Your subscription can get quite expensive once you start growing. So, if you're on a tight budget, this may not be the best option for you. Additionally, it can be overwhelming for beginners as it has many features that may not be necessary for small businesses. All in all, HubSpot is a great option for beginners who are looking for an all-in-one marketing platform and automation capabilities. However, its high pricing should be considered before making a decision. Although all the option that it offers makes HubSpot one of the most complete email marketing tools. We've reached the end of our video on the best email marketing software for beginners in 2023. We've introduced the top email marketing software options for beginners, discussed their key features, pricing plans and integrations, and outlined the pros and cons of each one. We hope that this video has helped you make a more informed decision on which email marketing software is right for your business. To summarize, MailChimp is a great option for beginners who are looking for a user-friendly interface and automation capabilities. SendinBlue is an all-in-one marketing platform. ActiveCampaign offers automation capabilities, advanced segmentation and tagging, and CRM integration. MailerLite is a great option for beginners who are looking for a user-friendly interface, automation capabilities, and landing pages feature, and HubSpot is an all-in-one marketing platform and automation capabilities.